Legendary Legendary Ninja Tell him What he impress I represent When me a top Legendary Ninja she day up on the telly She no need defense from nobody She done have God already And she stand firmer than a military Anyway she walk ball She step heavy Marshal the streets them already Well listen me When me talk about the legendary ninja She no leg, she no lab and her linger And the almighty work she a live for But vile you can see ash like a ginger Welcome to legendary ninja telly you know people Good morning just catch a live with Lady Saw and Jano. Lady Saw says she has stepped down from the church, you know, people. She says she has stepped down, man. A big disrespect she get. All of the people that choose to take care of all of them ears here. Yeah. Some of them established now, our sister to be exact, and attack down Panar and be her things. And two of them turned down Panar yesterday and across her. The two sisters, they never like her from long time. She said she all broke down and cry. You see me? So, I don't know, you know, because Lady Saw is my pastor and and I see me listen to a morning time, a Sunday morning time on YouTube. So I don't know which church I go to now because it's the only church I go and it's the only church I used to. So who, who going to be my pastor now? Who don't want to make me know? But maybe she belong somewhere else and there. Maybe she belong where we knew her from, reggae and dance hall. I don't think she's giving up God 100%. She has always have God with her all when she da broke out on stage. Myself, when me I wear the body rider, them and the little shorts, them and me I broke out. Me still did have God in me. So we always have God in a way. She's a good prayer warrior. I mean, no, she not step down and say, well, then say she go forget God. But I really want her to come back and beat and teach some of them young artists here. Yeah. You see me? Anyway, you go lady, sir. Minister Marian all. Whatever. I'm there with you. All right? And without further ado, here is the live. Bless the Lord. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I don't know how long I'm going to stay with you this morning. Because I've been um, struggling with some, some things, you know. Um, I'm thinking of walking away from ministry seriously. I just didn't tell you yesterday, but I'm struggling when my own family, my own blood tells me like start a question why I'm in Christ. You know, as soon as you have a, a disagreement with them or as soon as you put your foot down and say, all right, this is where I draw the line, you know, for my peace, you know, for my walk with God, you know, all my life I carry my family. This is not prior fasting this morning. All my life, from I was a teenager, I raised two boys, which were my brothers. They are my brothers. They're grown men now. And I'm still carrying a lot of grown people. I'm no longer working like I used to, so I can't carry the weight no more. But I still carry them. I carry everybody and their children. And I'll carry the children, children, the children, children sometimes. I, I support financially with everyone. Now you have some people who have supported for many years. But as soon as they find themselves stabilized and have some money, and, and not, not them, but one, they want to read me my rights, you know? This person want to read me my rights. You know, because this person lived with me all my life. Live when I ha if I have a man for you, eighteen years, the person lived there. Even argue with the man back and forth. You know, if that person decide to have a, a relationship, and the relationship it, she break off with this person, she, you know, I'm talking about my sister. She could bring another guy if she start dating somebody. It, it doesn't matter. They live in my house, but because she's financially secure now. And she stabilized in all things. She gonna read me my rights. And she gonna tell me who I am and when they, I will put them up, but I let them feel like S-H-I, you know what I'm saying? So the fact that I feel like it's time for me to be alone, to live alone, 
to be able to to do if I want to cry nobody don't don't need to see me crying because I, I do hurt a lot yeah but I don't get to cry a lot unless I want to go somewhere and cry by myself or drive in my car and cry to God anyway I've been going through a lot for all my life all my life I've been a mother and I've been the the sole provider for everybody but now these this woman want to disrespect me. So yesterday I told her, honey, you better thank God that I'm in Christ because you would be trending like a Kardashian this morning. That's how bad it is. People of God, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of stepping down as a minister. I don't think I'm qualified through their eyes because when I, I draw a line or say I can't do this no more and it's time for you to go, I... What kind of woman of God are you? Yeah, if I if they raise them voice and I raise my voice, I become a non-Christian. You know, and I I don't know why God chose to use me then and not them, you know. So anyway, I've been going through a lot, lot, lot all my life. I support everybody financially, even when I don't have it. If I have the last dollar, I put the Bible on my head. As you know, it's true. If I have the last cent, I give them and do without it. But because I now stand up and say, okay, yeah, I can't do this no more. It becomes a problem. And there was a big argument days ago. But then after this argument, and I put, I said, I can't do this no more. Just go. This other one want to disrespect me. So you see, for me, not to sin myself, I'm going to leave this thing here. You know, I'm leaving ministry. I'm thinking of giving the church over to someone. There's some women who are here. And um, I know they got the zeal for God. And I know they're able. A few of them was, I slept here last night on the floor. I didn't go home. My daughter is here, my grandchildren, and they heard me shouting and they're asking, Grandma, when are you going to stop shouting? Why are you shouting? It was so, you know, bad to, for that to happen before them you know, in front of them. So anyway, since I've become a Christian, people against me anyway. People talk about me every day. People just chastise me. People, everything, everything. So you know what? I'm leaving. I'm thinking of how to give this over to someone who, you know, the only thing when I thought about it, I said, oh my God, I'm disappointing God now because God gave it to me, God called me, you know, but I'm so tired of every wicked, evil people and all they talk about me. And when I preach what they do, they cut up my preaching and what they do to me. I'm tired. So I'm going back out there. That's where I'm going back. I'm going back people. I, I love the Lord. Um, I got to go. I need to work so I can support myself. I have bills. God take care of me, yes. But um, I just don't feel like I'm qualified because of what even my own family, they now saying I'm not a woman of God. I didn't cuss no bad word or anything. I, I, I have some nephews who lie about me and say I cuss bad word. I have nephews who join with enemies and lie about me. So all those things, all those things that the people that I feed and clothe and shelter when they are all right, now when they don't need me no more, they come together. Since I was a little girl, I have two sisters, they come against me. I had a one room in, in Galena and it was built on a piece of capture land that I captured. My mother had run away with some of the, the sisters and brothers and, and I stayed. I was living with a brother and he, 
he put us out so we were under we slept on a guinea tree and a lime tree they were like there so there was a storm and we went after the storm we went to the seaside we found a piece of sponge we found a little them old time wire bed spring bed they fold you can fold them so we sleep we, we we use that to sleep on all three of us because i raised two of my brothers right and then there was a man who tore down his, his his bar and restaurant and i asked him for the board and we got the boards and we went and we we have the, the young men in galena they helped me, Clement and all of them young men who I used to go on the, the sound truck with the sound, you know, when they're packing up the sound. So I did that one room. When my dad was away in America doing farm work, he would send money for everybody and not me. He said, don't give Marion any, but he give everybody else. The reason why was because my dad, when he was beating, us right i would take my load up my sister and my my brothers and i would i would take them and run away with them i would get back a torch and i would i would run away with them and because i just didn't want to see them hurt so i i run away and find we we went to port maria we went into a, a food truck and we we we, dry, we begged them on a ride to kingston to find our mom and we went to Kingston. And um, so I've been like that from I was a young girl. When my dad came back from America, he came to that same one room. When he had brought some stuff, we call them old Brook and me downs, right? But we appreciate them. And he bought some stuff, you know, barrel of stuff and everybody take from the barrel of stuff. I took a blue dress and some other things. I was the last one to take. But when I was done taking, there was this woman, Miss Sandy, that I used to work with. I used to wash her clothes, wash her husband's clothes, clean her house and stuff. I was a teenager, right? I had some shoes that I got, I got around there. I don't, even, I don't even think I got them. I think I took them. And when I dressed up in the high heel shoes, the same sister uh, said to me, why is it that we get the best thing and you and you you get the best thing and we get the riff rough? I said, but I was the last one who took from the barrel. Yeah, but still she wasn't satisfied. So she she started taking my, my bed and bonging it on the floor. And it was concrete floor because I, I hustle my money and I use it and I build concrete floor. And you do, you know, the floor polish thing, you, you polish the green in or the red. And she wanted to mash up my bed, right? So I grabbed her, me and her, start fight. Yeah? And she bang in my bed. And I said, if you mash up my bed, I'm going to tear up this passport. I wasn't going to tear it up. I swear to God Almighty, as I put the Bible on my head, I just wanted to scare her so she would stop mashing up my bed. Yes? And they both gang me. And those are the two ganging me now. Because me and one of them have, have an argument. And the next one start to read me my rights and tell me all kind of things and blah, blah, blah. Now, this person didn't like me since I was a little girl. My sister didn't like me. Did not like me one bit. I'm writing a book and I was going to keep some things out, but I'm putting everything in. She had never liked me. But she stayed in my company because of who I became. I could remember the first time my song was playing. And oh, she came to the, the one room we were. Listen, I'm, I'm, this is not a prayer and fasting. I'm just telling you, I'm sick of people judging me. And I know I have the best heart. Because I take care of everybody. And everybody, children. And this woman who have never bear any burden in the family, never put anyone up, never take care of nobody, nothing. Just talk about everybody to, and secure herself. If, if 10 people come around me, she talk about the 10 people and she never see her smile in her eyes. And you gonna come and talk to me and disrespect me. I woke up to a whole lot of message. So I sent her back some. People of God, I know I'm gonna sin myself very soon. 
I'm sick of people. Oh, oh, just, just over the years, just, just riding me and just lying and, you know, stranger, family, everyone. And I'm giving up on this right here. I'm going to give this to someone so that nobody have to judge me. None of you all. None of you. You don't support me. It's just a few people support me in ministry. Not even people in ministry support me. Okay? I struggle up here. Amen. And I'm, I'm, I'm not telling you that. Yes, I'm turning back or whatever. Yeah. But I just got to go. I, I, I could not. I have the, I have the word, the Bible. And I couldn't write last night. I, I'm writing and I, it is, I, I struggle to write. This girl telling me, say, God, want me to humble. <laughs> If I wasn't humble, honey, all the monies that you robbed from me, people would know about it. It's you why I'm suffering for what was six point eight million dollars, and you pay five hundred, one point five, you pay and four fifty, and I put ten thousand US, and I'm the one who have to find the rest. You know what you're talking behind my back? I could have paid it long time. Yeah, I could have paid when it was a million dollar long time. Why should I pay for your problem? Hmm? When you, I already mining all of you. Yeah. So let me tell you this now. I'm leaving everything. I don't care about nothing. I'm, I'm good with God. Yeah, but I got to go. I can't be a hypocrite. Because I'm telling you people of God, my heart is heavy. Yeah. All my life, they live with me. The first house I bought, all right, the first house I bought, I bought it for my mom just so they can live somewhere and take them out of the ghetto. I didn't look out for me first. There was someone I was with saying, look, buy your place. No, I bought it. It was a one quad, one little piece of kitchenette and a bathroom, and I had to it and make it into a, a what? One, two, three bedrooms, four bedrooms, right? One, two, three, four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and two kitchen. And when my mom, I gave it to my mom. When my mom died, I gave it to my sister and my brother. My brother left it. My sister cussed me and said, I'm wicked, and I this and that, and it's she, me, give me wicked. I don't even understand it. So right now, people of God, I don't know how I'm going to survive. I don't have any idea because it's hard enough to survive here. I will preach the whole time and I, when I'm done, nobody send me anything. Yeah, God has touched a few people and one lady always sent me 250 and then she sent five. Like God bless her and she starts sending me five. Certain times when she sent it is right there uh, when I'm I, I really need it. You know what I'm saying? And and then another person will send a five. There's a woman of God who God touched and she blessed me ten thousand dollars. Listen, I just I just gotta go. I try not to. Yesterday when I put the thing out and I see everybody calling me. I try to be strong to tell you that's not so, but I got to go, right? I got to go. I'm trying to sell my property, one of my property in Jamaica, to pay off these dog people, right? And I said I was going to take the rest and invest it here. I just want to be alone. just want to be at peace. I'm just trying to be judged. I'm not Jesus. You know, and even Jesus, at one point, you know, when he was carrying that cross, right? There was a time when he got really tired. He was actually falling down. And they took that cross and gave it to an Ethiopian man. Let me tell you this. I've been suffering all my life since I was a teenager. Oh, Jesus. I've gone through things you don't even know about. And uh, my, own, my own family, trust me, they don't really like me. My family don't love me. Trust me, they're a bunch of liars and fake. They 
love me because of who I became. When I became famous, eight become, <laughs> you know, and you give, 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 and no matter what you give, you never give enough. And if one time you don't come in agreement with what they say or what they want, you become the worst person. Okay. So with all that said, I just want you to know I love you all. I see you sending your love off and I thank you. Let me tell you this. As God Almighty live it, I have never done evil to nobody. All the lies you see about me and female artists, I never did nobody no wrong. I don't even know. They, they just, just one person set me up with everybody. I've never hurt nobody, never do any evil. And you all, a lot of you all, you let people pay you to blog lies about me. You know, I hope, you, I hope you're happy now. You all take care of yourself. God bless you all. However, I'm going to, however I got to survive in this, I'm going to survive because guess what? I've never, I've never asked God for anything and he didn't give it to me. But somehow, I've been here last night and I'm telling God, I don't know what to pray for. I can't pray. What have I done to people that people do me like this all the time? Why is it that they always, yeah? So everybody have rights to cuss and go on and go on. But I can't stand up for myself and say, go, that's it. You got to go. Mm -mm. You know that all my houses in Jamaica, it's my family living there and stranger. And even if I said go to someone, they always come back. Them say, make she calm down. Later on, she calm down. Let me go up the road and come back. Yeah? I've been a mother and a father to everybody. So, you know, because you get your a money now and you can raise. How many money you use for me? I waste my money. Take my money out of my account. Do all of you. How much money? All kind of people come in my life and you run them out. You're always talking about them. Oh, you're boxing food out of my mouth. Yeah, I give you a job, manage a job all when you don't know if you manage. Eh? And I do everything. And now you feel because you have your property now when you do, you, whatever, man. You take care of yourself. People are God. I don't even know if I'm going to keep these phones. And I don't know where I'm going from here. But I'm going to find somebody to give this church to. Somebody. There are some ministers that come here. You know, I, I, my, I know my heart is broken. Like, this is everything to me. Like, this, this is what God said he would give to me. And he, he come true and give it to me because he's not a liar. But if you all think I'm not qualified, I'm not a, if I preach, you attack me. What, what sense does it make? Preaching, preaching, and only for you to attack me and, and do all kind of evil against me. It's best I'm out there with you and you do the evil to me and I deal with you out there. You attack me out there and I will just deal with it. What about, how about that? I come, come out of here, get out of Christianity, yeah, and you attack me out there. How about that? Face to face then. Hmm? I'm sick of people messing with me, sick of you lying about me, sick about you just attacking you evil people. And there's one person that, that set up a lot of people against me, and you better pray. Because I'm coming out, I'm going to take you out. Yeah? Because you the one who set up a whole lot of people. You're wicked, you're bad mind, you're grudgeful, you're jealous. And you started this. You started all of this. Yeah? Yeah? So, oh, other than family, you set up 
Oh, I was loved by everybody. And you go out and you put up a lot of false things and you go on the internet and you put up a lot of lies about me and you set up people against me. And all I did was give you my hope and arms, hold stretch hands. And I honestly let you in my life and you destroy so much. And even when I got into Christendom, you compete with me. If I say I'm preaching today, all of a sudden, the same day, same time, you say you have church. And you and your friends have sent it over to my phone. You understand? As, as if I tell you, if I'm coming out with a song, you come out with something to, to bar people from paying attention to what I'm doing. And then you make up all kind of lies. Even in Christendom, I leave everything and, and I come over here and you attack me silently. You don't even know. I know people who are with you right there on the ground when you're doing your evil with all them fake phones. And you don't even know they're there and they say, that person is coming online now, talking a lot of stuff right here. She's coming on. She's going to build. Yeah. And you never leave me alone because you're so happy. You just tell us you want me to be shut down in a corner. I'm over it. I'm over it. You want to see bad? You really want to see bad? You really want to see who is bad? It's just not even bad, but who is the real talent? Okay, let me just step off out there and handle everything out there then. You want that? Because you won't leave me alone. Yeah, you won't leave me alone. You understand? Yeah. They're still there. Charmaine. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, Mich yeah, your fake name right here. You see how you are? And you are the people I'm talking about. You, yeah? You're the people I'm talking about. Charmaine Evangelist. Oh, you have a name like that, and you're going to name about Lady Saw running the church because she was hurt and freed. So that means you're a fake page, Charmaine Evangelist. You know why I run in the church? Because I know it was either hell or prison. All right? So if you want me to run out back, fake Charmaine Evangelist, I can run out back and handle it just to show you I'm not afraid. There's none like me. None that be like me. Amen? Let me tell you that. So you fake page Charmaine Evangelist. You, a lot of you, you're going to die in your sin. Because you know what the Bible says? If you know the right and you don't preach it to a man, yeah, and this man die in his sin, yeah? So if you even call me out and I come out and die in my sin, that person blood is up on your head. Didn't you know that since you have up the evangelist name? Didn't you know that? So the reason I run is because I don't want to go to hell. Yeah? And it's either hell our prison, the way oh those demons was attacking and lying. Listen, I live in love all my life. Yeah? And the next thing I'm going to do, I've been trying to shut down this page and I couldn't do it. I don't know how. Yeah? But I'm just telling you now, anything or anything right now. Okay? That may I say. A lot of times, you see, I try my best to not even look at you. Yeah? But I don't even look at you sometimes. But you get on top of my nerves and it's time for me to come out now, come deal with you know, since you know, one like say. Yeah? So people are going to take care of themselves here. All right. Take care of themselves. Listen, I stay focused all the time. I just can't do this no more. You see some people? Some people, 
them become suicidal. A lot of people would kill themselves a long time if they really know where me I go to, yeah? So, I'm going to take care, yeah? Okay. Um, Samaya, of course I see where the devil do it, but you don't understand. You know, I don't have anyone really. It's just me. Yeah, I don't have anyone. It's just me. And everything I do, these people come up against me. Everything I do, them come up against me. Them, they can't bear to see that I'm so gifted. I'm so talented. Yeah, they think that them shut me down. And when them see me rise, they must say, wait. So how oh, she end up back this one? Me not think me lock her down already. Me not think she, you understand? So anyway, you take care of yourself. Okay? You take care of yourself. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Comment, man, no comment. Don't be a stranger. Get me out of here. She no bad mind, she no swindler She trot straight for no folly, she no mingler A long time she had done no parting Don't no fear cause she read all the truth she a bring Legendary ninja telly You don't know <laughs> How the truth she a spread it You hear that?